Okay, we are in Big Sur. We're not at the campground yet because we're early, so we're just hanging out for about an hour on the side of the road. Found a decent spot to stop. We're just killing time because we have like 45 minutes to kill. We already ate. And Big Sur is beautiful, but this particular spot, there's not a lot to look at. <laughs> but we're kind of limited to where we can pull over because of our RV. We made it to our campground, Plaskett Creek in Big Sur. It's right across the street from Sand Dollar Beach. We're gonna go there tomorrow, I believe. Yeah. We're gonna go to some other places tomorrow too in Big Sur. Just over four years ago we were here. Yeah. And we, we lived here. We did it two months. Wow, we what are these? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, what are these? Lucky and rough hair pointer. What wow. Slovakian rough haired pointer. Beautiful. Pretty. Thank you. Hi, guys. It's Hi, Oscar and George. Oscar and George. Oscar and George. They're beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. I can only remember parts of the, some of the names of the things here. Because it's a bit kind of a blur. It's four years ago that we were here. We lived here for two months. Yeah, we did a, a camp hosting gig here. Yeah. And we were up the road at Kirk Creek, which is very beautiful, but we would all often have to come here mm. to get supplies for our campground. Um, so it's kind of a blast from the past. We haven't been back <laughs> for four years, so yeah. it's kind of nice to be back. It's kind of strange actually to be yeah. back here. Yeah. yeah. It's so pretty though. It's really pretty. It is. There are no services, no electricity, no internet, no cell service of any kind. Um, but that's, but we're good. We're only here for two days. I think we'll live. <laughs> yeah, we will. <laughs> okay, it's the next day. Good we morning. Taking a tour of Big Sur, at least a few of the spots. We're walking the trail to McKay Falls, I think yes, it's called. Yes, it is. Or is it McWay Falls? We'll have to look it up. It's probably one of the most photographed areas of Big Sur, I believe. Very beautiful. It's extremely beautiful. That's just a taste. That's not the beautiful part yet. <laughs> that was amazing. Now we're yeah. going back to the van. All van filled with pups. We have sandwiches in there. We're going to go <laughs> eat at Lime Kiln, which is yeah. the next place you'll get to see with us. Lime Kiln. And it's we'll tell you more about Lime Kiln. When we get there. Beautiful, beautiful place. Yeah. But you'll see that here in a second. Really cool. My boy. Back to the pups. Off to the next place. Lime kiln. Okay, we're at Lime Kiln. Yeah. And it says all trails are closed because of fires, fire damage. That's shoot. That blows, you guys. Yeah. We're gonna have to go find somewhere else. <laughs> it's a really pretty park. Yeah. Someone always shows up when we're eating. Hi. <laughs> so we were planning on eating lunch at Lime Kiln. We we're gonna go on a hike there with the dogs, but obviously it was closed, so we're 
<laughs> we pulled over on the side of the road to eat some sandwiches. There are worse places to have a sandwich, right? Right next to the beautiful ocean. Yeah, and that's gorgeous today. Oh look, a whale. You can see it right there. So when we did work here for those two months, four years ago, they told us that um, if you're here in the fall, you'll definitely see whales. Like it's like a whale superhighway. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Okay, so it is a whale. Yeah. Of course we didn't capture it. Oh my God. Yeah, there's his back. Oh my God. We got out of the van to try to see the whale a little bit better. I hope this little camera picks it up. It's hard to say. We're having to also find some gas today. <laughs> and of course, we're in the most expensive place in the entire country for gasoline right now, and we're traveling. <laughs> Oops. We're gonna go see how much this gas is, because when we lived here, it was the most expensive gas at Gorda, which is a little town. We have to get some gas, regardless of the price, which just blows. Uh, we're probably gonna get five gallons. It should get us to the next city of town of size because we'll be towing tomorrow yeah. um, we get like seven miles a gallon on a good day while towing mm. yeah. Yeah. add a little bit of wind and that goes to hell um, when not towing we get maybe double that 13 maybe 14 with tailwind <laughs> i this is zoomed in just now this was like zoomed in so that, those last scenes were like zoomed in I didn't even know that this camera did that. <laughs> Not in that way. My hand must have been on a weird control or something. So on our way to Big Sur, um, because we, like we said a million times now, because we lived here before, we know the gas situation. There is no gas, no affordable gas. So we, we were full. We had a full tank when we left Santa Cruz. Um, we probably should have maybe stopped uh, with the trailer attached in Carmel or Monterey, but the gas stations there all kind of suck. Uh, they're really tight, and so we didn't. So we thought we'd be fine. We probably would have been, except for the driving around we're doing today. We're kind of burning that gas that we need to get us out of here. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna have to chalk it up to a day of being tourists, which yep. can be very expensive at times. And, yeah. so, and plans yeah. have changed, so we're gonna now go and get gas and then go to the beach. Yeah. Since we couldn't we'll go to the Yeah, yeah. We weren't expecting to see the whales. That was kind of a nice mm, surprise. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. All right. There's our gas price in Gorda. Of course, they only have the most expensive type of 91 octane premium, $9.99. We found gas. We're, we came all the way to Cambria. If you know where that's at it's way further than we wanted to go but we wanted to see some more sites since we couldn't do the lime kiln hike today and because of where we are we will we'll find ourselves in a bind tomorrow while pulling our trailer if we don't fill up now because um, there's no way we would have made it here tomorrow pulling the trailer this is officially the highest price we've ever paid for gas um, seven 739.9, basically seven dollars and forty cents a gallon. We're gonna go ahead and fill up at that price. It just pains me, but <laughs> what are we gonna do? I looked on Gas Buddy, and this is about it. Um, down the highway, as we get closer to more population, like Pismo Beach and Santa Barbara, it's not much better. It's in the sixes still at most places. So we just figure we'll go ahead and fill up to have to. I have to sweat as much tomorrow trying to find gas. I'm really not trying to complain because you know we 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 choose to do this and you know this is part of it. Scott keeps telling me to not be upset because it all averages out, which is true. You know, once we get into Arizona later, it's like 
three dollars a gallon, I believe. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still talking. <laughs> <laughs> I bought a Coke. I got oh, a Coke. You got your Coke. I got a Coke. Oh, what'd you give me? Chips. Oh, chips. That's a healthy snack. <laughs> yeah, it is. We don't oh my God. <laughs> We're at 18 and a half gallons at $137. <laughs> <laughs> Nineteen and a half, 144. Holy crap. Okay, this will probably be, not only is this the most we paid to date ever, this will probably be the most we ever pay for the rest of our lives, right? <laughs> Let's hope. I mean, God. Oh, it stopped. We're not, that's not full. That's what the final total was. We weren't as empty as I thought. <laughs> we weren't as, quite as empty as I thought. We were, yeah, because it wasn't on empty yet. We were still below quarter tank and empty. So we put in 22.824 gallons, 168.87. Incredible. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like 180, because it, it would have been if it were empty. Mm. You know what we don't have? What don't we have? A mortgage. <gasps> That's true. Oh my gosh. Yeah, all we have is site, RV site rental spaces, and not even all the time. Sometimes we, we sleep for free. Not sleep for free, but you know, we, we stay for free, like in Arizona. And BLM. And I get a Coke once every three to four months. One Coke. Yeah. All right, so we just drove past this place called Seal Rock, Elephant Rock. It's like a seal overlook. When we drove by on the highway, there were dozens and dozens of sea lions and lots of seals too, laying out, sunning themselves like super close. So we're gonna go check it out. Yeah. So that was really cool. They have boards there that show the actual length of a newborn pup and then the length of the female and the male. These are the elephant seals. Uh, that was the weight of the ele elephant seals. And male, adult, 5,000 pounds, wow. Mid-sized car. Yeah. At first I thought it was a, the sea lions, but I knew that was wrong because they're, they're smaller than that. So we made it back to our campground and now we're walking to the beach, which is across the street. It's called Sand Dollar. And this, I believe, is the only um, swim, surf beach that's like sanctioned as that. Yeah. Of course, there's other beaches and people do what they want. And, yeah, you'll see just you'll see people just at random places along the shore <laughs> surfing. You know, where it's safe, I guess, to do so. Yeah. We only came here a couple times in those two months that we stayed here, or stayed near nearby down the road. Our campground was Kirk Creek Campground, which is what six miles from here. Yeah. We have um, good memory from this beach. We were with a darling friend of ours, Carrie. Yeah. If you're watching, we love you. Yeah. Hi, Carrie. And we were on this beach with her, and we saw this seagull who was stunning because all the other seagulls kind of looked, eh, you know, but this one was like impeccable. Like, oh. in short, she notices this seagull and we just all kind of busted out it was like the most it was the most perfect yeah. seagull ever like there wasn't a flaw on it, it looked yeah. like a stuffed animal it was really cool <laughs> it was just like this perfect specimen of a seagull It's coming in. Yeah. 
I gotta hurry back. I don't wanna get trapped. Or wet. It's ocean, it's cold. You know who needs a staircase like this? Up the trail? Yeah. Black Beach. Torrey Pines, San Diego. Hear that state of California? <laughs> Pretty much the trail up. <laughs> now I'm warm. Grab the jacket. <laughs>